Hi, uh, Google launched a new product today. Well, I don't know if it was launched today. I heard about it today. I got the email today. It's called uh, Grow My Store for Partners. Um, so it's only for Google Partners. Uh, if you're not a partner, I imagine you could probably work through one in order to get access to this because you have to enter your MCC account ID in order to run the report. Um, I love that you asked, we listened. Nobody asked for this. That's made up. Um, but what's interesting is I'm actually ple pleasantly surprised. So you open up the email and you think to yourself like, yeah, this is just a tool that's going to help me sell Google services. But when you run the report, which I did for one of my friendlier clients, um, I, I really like the breakdown of results. So our website scores advanced. Uh, we're 65%, where the industry average is 55%. I don't think that means that we're good. I just think it means the industry sucks. But I do like the information they gave us. Some of it's pretty actionable. One interesting note is <laughs> this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so you can tell this is still in beta because clearly not uh, going to open up any further. But it lets you know some, again, some uh, items that I think could be improved upon from a website perspective. It looks like we're not making directions easy to find, which, um, you know, where Google local actions and offsite conversions and assistant conversions and things are really important. I actually think that that's one of the things that it's just easy to overlook, you know? So this is a good recommendation for me. Um, are you using geolocation? We're not, but maybe we should be. Uh, I kind of don't like those browser prompts, to be honest with you, so that's one I might ignore. Um, personalized accounts, again, not applicable for this client, but I understand why Google would, would want that for online retailers specifically. Um, frictionless, frictionless shopping, this is one this client should have, and they don't. Um, so, you know, good improvement opportunity for me there. Uh, flexible fulfillment, I think it's interesting. Google's actually kind of they're, they're reaching beyond their bounds as far as I'm concerned. You know, next day delivery, um, free returns. Really, Google? Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, it's bullish. But, and then, so this is really cool. Uh, live chat. Now, this is what's interesting is we do have a return policy on this site. And for whatever reason, it's not crawlable or indexable. So I need to go fix that. But Google's noticing there's no live chat available. And I actually like that they're pushing this for retailers because I've seen significant improvements in conversion rates when we add live chat. Um, and then, you know, security, uh, mobile accessibility. Mobile site speed from Google's a lie. The Google page speed indexing is, is it doesn't take into consideration things like latent loading. Um, so I'm going to ignore this because we've done speed optimization. This is as good as it's going to get. All of that to say, if you have seen the Grow My Store uh, reporter option or thingy come out, I think it's worth playing with. I, I do. I, I think that, you know, it was pretty good, pretty good information. So, um, yeah, I, I'd be interested to see if it gets any more robust. Google has the really bad habit, and you know, maybe it's a good habit. Maybe it speaks to how nimble they are because they still kind of have that startup me mentality, but they roll out tools and then like just discontinue support um, for whatever reason. And I think it probably, if I were to guess, just has to do with user adoption. It's like, oh, if people use it, we'll continue to support it and build on it, and if they don't, then we won't. So I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to find out this is just another thing that goes by the wayside. Um, but hopefully that's not the case. And uh, if it's not, you know, maybe we get a little bit more in the way of uh, an old, a more robust grader. I'm thinking about HubSpot's old marketing grader, which I loved before they changed it. Because um, if you don't remember, HubSpot had this grader, this website grader that was like amazing. And it gave you just really awesome, actionable insight and advice. And then they, and then they changed it to be more focused on like HubSpot's value proposition, which makes sense, God bless them, but it took away a lot of the value that you were getting out of the greater. So um, there's a gap for that, and I think Google's really well positioned to, to fill that gap. So I'd be interested in seeing um, I'd be interested in seeing what they put together. The other thing that I'd say is we need to pay attention to things like this because Google doesn't make its Google doesn't make its strategy known in many instances. So, you know, for instance, like the difference between ad rank and quality score, um, you know, how you rank and how Google tells you you rank are two different things. And I, I'm actually of the weird conspiracy backed opinion that there's probably misinformation there. And I believe that very strongly because I've seen that them do that in SEO in, in ways and areas I can prove and that other people have proven. Google says one thing when the other has proven to be true. So, and, and you can't fault them for it. You can't fault them for it because their job is to protect the algorithm and to keep people from gaming it. And so you'd have to use misinformation in that particular context. That's fine. Um, but I like things like this because they are, they are a, a peek behind the veil, you know, where, where Google starts to say like, hey, just FYI, it's important you have a return policy on there. Those aren't, you know, casual recommendations. Google's looking at these little signals. And, and if you know anything about the way that Google's functions, those little signals are important. So, you know, how you rank is 
based off of a lot of little things. It's 1% improvement um, every day. You know, it's the Kaizen methodology. And so when you see graders and applications like this coming from Google, don't ignore them. Don't ignore them because, they're, again, they're, they're good predictive indications of what Google is paying attention to and, and the things that you might be able to do in order to improve your, your, your site and visibility in the eyes of the almighty Lord Google. So um, that's my advice for today. Uh, if you liked this video and you want to see more, I shoot a video every day, as does my business partner. So you can comment and subscribe. And uh, subscriptions apparently do a lot for us because they sort of like give Google the, you know, the thumbs up, the digital thumbs up that, hey, these guys aren't idiots. So if you want to subscribe and you do, I would be grateful forever. If you don't, I'll probably still love you and I'll still continue to shoot videos. So I guess there's really no incentive there to you uh, outside of just getting notified. I'm bad at selling the subscription thing. I just hate like when I'm watching videos and people are like, smash that subscribe button. I'm like, no, you're a douchebag. Um, so I don't want to be that guy. But maybe I'll like, I'll, I'll turn into that person over time as like YouTube gets its hooks into me. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.